I have no reason for this. I have no reason. Nah, no tabs. Some, yeah, some dumb shit. I was on Ven I was in Venice Beach. It was like I always wanted to get my eyelids tattooed, but I never wanted to get like. I, that, that was never an idea, just getting like slump on my eye. And I was in Venice Beach, like so slumped. When they tattoo your eye, there's from everything I like read or like, cause right before I did it, I I went on Google really quick and I was like, does it hurt to get your eyelid tattooed? What's it like to get your eye? And everything I saw, like people use like some kind of like spoon like utensil, or some shit like pull it out. This pool went right over my eye. But like that's my man. He he killed it, and I can still see perfectly. There's no nothing in my cornea, nothing but love in my cornea. The name is that ass is my last name. It's Stephen Moses, and so I just took a last name. I'm trying to like figure out some way to to like to like say I parted the Red Sea or some shit without, <laughs> without it being corny, like the tech Red Sea or something like that, but I can't. I used to like, when I was like like 10, 11 years old, like I didn't go to school. I went like 19 days so I was like in eighth grade. So I just like, I didn't do shit between like seven years old and like 11 years old besides like playing my guitar and like watch like, like live videos and shit like that. Like that was like my shit. I was like 13, 14, I went to school for like for like 19 days, I went to meet like plugs and shit like that. I was 17 and I got kicked out. Cause I was 16 and I remember I graduated and then like 10 days later I turned 17. And my parents were like, it wasn't so much like they were like, all right, you're graduated, now you have to leave. It was like, you're selling drugs, you have to leave. Like I had like 20 bands when I got like, kicked out of my house, like type. And then, and then like I was in Pittsburgh, blew like everything. Ended up like 17, like homeless in Pittsburgh. And the studio that I would go to um, with this dude, Norman Dean, was like, I remember it was 5.2 miles from like where I was staying at in Squirrel Hill. And I, I just remember, cause I had to like GPS and skate there like every night. I skated before I, I rapped. I didn't rap until I was like 14 and I heard Elmatic. I just remember the first song I heard, it wasn't like I just heard the album, it was I heard the song at halftime. And then I was like, what is this from? What is this from? Like, it wasn't like I had like a friend put me onto it or anything like that. Like, I listened to Illmatic and I was always like bumping like Illmatic and like, like Slim Shady LP and like shit like that. As somebody that like had guns and like knew people that had guns, like at one point, like every single one of my friends when I was like 17 had a gun, like, I don't think people should have guns at all. And fuck no. I've seen people shoot guns in like in, in like the most random situations, not even like meaning to. Like I've seen people misfire off Zans like so many times. It's like, fuck. and that's just like misfires. You gotta like take into account all the crazy fuckers that are not misfiring. I think I think that shit needs to be tightened up. Honestly, it's like it's dummy easy. Like even if Pennsylvania doesn't have like the the least strict laws, but it's pretty it's pretty lenient, and like you could walk in just 18 with your ID. Like, I can't because I'm 302. And in Cali, it's like 5150. In PA, it's like 302. It's like, I could get it repealed or whatever, but I had to go to like, do two guns, dead ass. No, it's cool because then I can't buy a gun. So it's like, it's wow. tight. That's what I was saying. You could walk into like a Walmart or whatever and buy a Mossberg. Like, that's not cool. Last day of September, going into like the first day of October, like that night, we were at a bowling alley, like me and, my, me and some of my friends in Pennsylvania, because that's what you do, is like go to bowling alleys and shit. <laughs> and you know, so like we're, we're at this bowling alley and they're like serving us because like it's a bowling alley. Everyone's like like lit and I was like, I was selling Zans like, like stupid hard at the time. I was taking like double digit Xanax, like daily, like bars. This bitch left me. This bitch, the, the, the bitch uh, has been like recurring throughout this whole interview. This bitch left me at the bowling alley after watching me drop 30 bars on the floor, right? So she leaves and, and, and all the bars get picked up, whatever. I'm off like literally like no exaggeration, no cap, like 40 something bars. I can't even blame her, you know, I mean? we're all doing like dumb ass shit, but um, 
I like got into to, uh, my friend Sean's boss's car that he was like driving, like his truck, and I like just completely passed out because I'm off literally like 40 bars. And then I wake up like in a hospital, with, like I see like my mom, like my my this girl I did when I was like 14, and like her like best friend and like my sister and like the girl I was fucking with at the time not there. But like I wake up and I have like this breathing tube down my throat, and I'm like. Just looking around like, holy shit. And this was after like in, in the past like six weeks from there, I'd been in the hospital like twice for like Xanax and, and lean and Oxy. But like the, the shit was really horrible and I couldn't write, get this, so I couldn't write for like a month and a half. I, I quit doing Xans and then a, a month and a half later, I wrote Love Me. But that shit's behind, yeah. I don't really fuck with Xanax. I like, I do to the point of like, I will take Xanax, but I don't, I don't, t I'm, I'm, not de I'm not dependent on Xanax. I'm working, I just finished a song last night with Will that I think is going to be on an album where I mix shit. I haven't, like, forced anything, because I haven't had a reason to, and I, there'll never be a reason to force anything, but I haven't, like, prior to this, prior to this video dropping, like, I did not, like my Instagram went from like 2200 to like 50 something hundred. Like I've, I've never had like shit like this going on. And like when I was eight playing in like an ACDC like, like, like cover man, it was like, I had nobody watching my shit. I would go, to, I was in Canada playing shows for like 15 people. So it was like, I've done so much shit with like, with no audience, with no like anything that like now that the, the platform's kind of there, I'm, I'm not going to be hesitant.